Welcome to my channel, my name is Gold Magic Carp. If you like my videos or enjoy Destiny Guides, I would much appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe button. Every season comes with a new XP grind, more loot in the season pass, and new seasonal artifact mods to unlock. The system has its flaws, but Bungie is already adding new ways to gain experience. If you want to learn efficient ways to earning quick experience, stick around for the video. Players will find ways to store as much experience as they can in order to get the biggest bumps to their level at the start of a season. The most effective ways is to stack bounties. So I suggest focusing on weekly bounties first, as they offer the most, but you'll probably need some dailies as well if you want to maximise your experience stack. Now there has been some changes coming to this season, like what bounties you can save. Avoid Crow, Vanguard, Crucible, Gambit and Gunsmith weeklies, as they will no longer carry over to the next season. The best bounties you want to stack first are weekly bounties, but I also suggest saving daily bounties you are 100% not going to do on the first day of the season, as daily bounties can only be cashed in once a day. Say you save Gunsmith and Vanguard daily bounties, then you pop them in the new season, well you won't be able to go to those vendors and grab those bounties when doing strikes on that first day. Who's going to do Nightmare Hunt and Trials on day one? You can stack up to 63 bounties on each character, but be aware any quest will reduce the amount of bounties you can hold. Remember, it is possible to apply what you learn and understand to each of your characters you have. As of this season, ghosts now have mods that can be collected and slotted onto them. If you've been playing, you probably would have found a ghost mod called Blinding Light. What the 6 const version of this mod does is give a 12% boost to all experience regardless if it's from killing enemies or turning in bounties. So make sure to double check you have it on before doing activities or popping bounties. As you gain more and more seasonal levels, you unlock a perk that gives you up to 8% experience bonus for your fire team. This method tends to get ignored by a lot of players, but joining a player's fire team, regardless if they're your friend or not, will reward you with a small experience boost. So it's always a bonus to join another player before turning in your bounties. It's a good practice to try to always turn in your rewards when you're with another player. And you'll certainly be able to find a lot of players around the planets and playlists to quickly join. The next section of this video is about how to be efficient with your XP after a new season begins. If you don't have the time or don't want to play with efficiency, that's up to you. It's a player's choice and you should never feel like you're forced into playing in a way you don't want to. With that said, I hope you respect that I enjoy playing with efficiency. Don't let your feelings dictate your destiny. Bungie is introducing a new system called Seasonal Challenges. You'll still need to fulfill certain objectives that arrive each week. However, you'll have until the end of the season to complete them rather than just a week. The new system is not only to combat FOMO, but to help players who aren't able to log in each week. Seasonal challenges seem like the best way to get a one-time big boost of experience, with most naturally completing themselves when playing. So after you log into the new season, what should you do first? Well of course, find someone you want to group up with. When you have found your fire team, play until you find your artifact, as any bounties you pop will give you artifact XP. Just a note, Last season I popped my bounties before I found the artifact, and I still got artifact XP. But Bungie can change this at any time, so you're going to ask yourself, what risks are you willing to take? Once you've claimed all your bounties on your first character, this will allow you to pick up more for the activities you're going to be playing. You can either swap to other characters and do the same, or figure out what activities you're going to be playing and pick up bounties for those activities. Something I do that isn't well known, and because I can get through all three characters in two days, is just before reset, I grab all the bounties I can do for any activities I know I'll be playing the next day on any character I will be playing. This allows me to stack two days worth of bounties that I can complete at the same time. If you have the willpower and time to get into bounty grinding, these next tips can really help you stay efficient. Most people think the Lost Sector repeatable bounty farm is the best way to get experience, but it's not efficient with your glimmer and time. 
When grabbing bounties, you want to try and do as many bounties as you can at the same time to increase the experience you get. The other thing you can do is group activities into either one day or the other and use the two day stacking strategy. The two day stacking strategy is where you grab whatever bounties you'll do tomorrow just before the daily reset and when you get back on after the reset, grab those bounties at those same vendors. Another thing I would look for is an activity where I could smash out as many bounties as possible at the same time. Last season I found this to be the Glassway Strike, where you could do Vanguard, Gunsmith, Crow and a Roper bounties all in there and many of them overlapped. I remember one day I had 8 bounties based on getting Void Sidearm kills. And if you adopt the 2 day stacking strategy, you can do that on one day and then on the other day you do PvP, Gambit and whatever else you find yourself doing. Remember you can do this on all 3 characters if you have the time. Keep in mind, bounties are a huge time sink and with each season it is completely possible that Bungie changes how XP works. So unless you're really looking to get ahead of everyone else, I suggest just enjoy the game how you like to. But it's always a plus to at least grab bounties for the activities you're playing. This is Gold Magic Cup signing out. Bloop bloop bloop.